Welcome back, Mega Man X Episode 3. Let's go kick some... Kick some tail. Chameleon tail. He always gave me trouble when I first had the Super Nintendo, which... Would have been when I was, like, 12 or so? I got it after I had an N64. And originally, I didn't have many games for it. But emulation, God bless it, being just on the fringes of illegal, um, has really opened up a lot of classic past games. I was a Genesis kid, but unlike everyone else, I wasn't actively doing console warfare with people. Saying, oh, fuck the Super Nintendo, Genesis is better, you know, all this stuff. I didn't really know or care. And this guy's a, this guy's a trip here. You shoot him in the head... Zombie logic applies. Headshots win, you know. Um, nothing else hurts him, really. Interesting little mini fight. Well, interesting might be a bit of an overstatement. A little bit of an endurance contest, honestly. And you don't even know if you're really harming him, because... Like the many bosses in the opening level um, doesn't have a health bar. But the fact that he flashes does show you that you are inflicting damage. So. That was a good choice on the programmers. This is a really... Like I said, this is in my top ten games because it's a really, really fucking well-made game. It's awesome. Like, so far, all the games I've done have been, like, the first game I played on so-and-so, or, like, my favorite titles, and I like this. I like where I'm, what I'm doing with this channel. I like to have more views, but that's everybody, so. Tell your friends, you know. Like, hey, there's a mildly entertaining big guy who plays games decently well. That describes a lot of people, though. But, Rolls is the king. Actually, I was looking to name my channel King Rolls, but it was already taken. And I thought, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. This capsule contains a new body or... I forgot what voice I did for him. Fuck it. Anyway, this is a pick... I made the decision to go to Sting Chameleon 3rd because I wanted this body armor, and... Because I, I can't afford to fuck around like with uh, Storm Eagle again. God, that episode is such... that That is the shaming episode. But I have all the power-ups except for the, uh, to the X-Buster yet. And I, I think I do... If I'm remembering correctly, I do all the bosses before I get the upgrade to the X-Buster. Because I feel like... It's too overpowered. Like, you you lose a little bit of the fun when you can basically summon in, well, various secondary level powers to the boss weaknesses. If you've never seen it before, you you can appreciate my point. I'll, I'll bring that point up again when I do get the power up and show you kind of what you can do with it. Because it can get ridiculous. Never stop dashing. Gotta go fast. Faster, 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 faster. Mega Man X. Soon I did. I took the Sonic X theme song, made about Mega Man X. Oh yeah, I guess I should mention since I got that uh, energy tank and uh, Storm Eagle stage. That little, like, da -da -da sound you heard, uh, well, about ten seconds ago now, was, uh, or there, there it was again, is filling up an energy tank, which restores about half your health when you're at max HP, which was changed in following games to restore your entire health like it ought to, it ought to be able to do. Wah, <laughs> wah. <laughs> 
His weakness is the boomerang from Boomer Kawanger, which I think I is my last boss I fight, just because eh, his tower can be kind of a hassle to climb. Once again, the X-Buster does the job just fine. The X-Buster is like good old-fashioned bullets. Like, you might have a better job, a better weapon for the job, but you can't go wrong with a good gun. Rules does not support the uh, illegal use of firearms in any way, shape, or form. But you, <laughs> yeah, but you can see he has a little, uh, little kind of a uh, various attacks that really don't form a pattern. Just when he's coming towards you, get away, because his tongue can do a, quite a bit of damage. I don't really worry about the chip from those uh, falling spikes. They're not as bad, and these are just setups to get hits off when he shoots from the corner, because it's so easy sometimes. You see, I just charge up shots. It's so much easier than just shooting off, trying to get multiple single target hits, you know what I mean? Basically, it's the exact opposite of the lesson you learn from like something like Sonic the Hedgehog, where, like I said, just said, gotta go fast. Uh, steady and planned out wins the game in Mega Man, I think. Not too difficult, really. One more hit. Bam. Do it. Now I'm wondering. Oh yeah, I, 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 never mind. You can see there's snow on the ground. That's because I've already beat Chill Penguin. Depending on when you play these stages, things can be changed. Normally there's supposed to be lava there. It makes traveling obviously a way easier, and it lets me pick something up. Here, kind of shortly. Um, coming up. It's coming up. Look at all the level you get to skip because of... Like I said, planning ahead really helps. You get to pick that up. That's what, that's what we were waiting for. Go back. I forget, I think I might make a quick run to get the buster here. And I completely fucked that up. I fell off, so I had to, I kind of have to abandon it this this time through. But fear not, I, I like I said before, I, I pick up everything but the Hadouken, so I will return one day, someday. Mystic quest. No, okay. I don't know why I'm making like a setup like it's an epic return. You really don't. It's not hard to get there. It's being fucking dumb. <laughs> oh man. Fucking gimpy robots. Gonna like gimpy robots, right? And then there he's destroyed forever. Really, there's nothing to this level. This is the hardest part, and even it's, like, simple. You'll get hit a couple times, so what? That being said, these guys here, these green fuckers, whose names I forget, they're a bunch of assholes. Just their shielding and, you know, ball and chain. We're at the boss! Woot! I turned on the Storm Tornado because that is Flame Mammoth's weakness. 
And here we go. Boosh. She does quite a load of damage. And it can get two hits depending on where you hit it from. Boss fight, hardly. <laughs> I feel like I should get that as a ringtone. A little victory celebration music there. And you get a flamethrower. It's a flamethrower. It's called Fireway, but it's a flamethrower. Alright, we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.